Hello everyone. In the last few videos, we have been creating different types of MCP servers. But in today's video, we will test the MCP servers we have created in a real world scenario. I will just give you an overview very quickly. So these are the three different types of MCP servers we created. The first one was standard input output. To run this, we run this command. How to develop this MCP server? There is a separate video which, which is available and you can watch on my channel. So in this type of MCP server, we run this command and we can connect it. And once it is connected, we can click on list tools. And then we can execute any tool. For example, if I click on this one and I can run this tool and that can return me a JSON values. Then we also worked on different types of MCP server. The next one was SSE. The second type of MCP server we created was SSE, which is server sent event. We created a function app for this and we deployed on Azure. We can connect it. We can list tools and we can execute any tools. In our last video, we created streamable HTTP. We created a web app for this. And we deploy this web app on Azure. We can simply connect. We can list tools. And we can execute get alerts for a state. For example, New York. And we can get weather alerts for New York. This is all working. And I have created three different videos on three different MCP servers. We use MCP Inspector, which is a client, and we use to test and create the MCP servers and tools. But in this video, we will create a real world scenario and test the streamable HTTP MCP server. For example, if you type state code for New York, you can get weather alerts. But what happens when you type? Complete prompt. When we run this, it doesn't work because the MCP tool we have created is expecting a state code, for example, New York. So what we will do is we will go and create Copilot Studio agent. And in Copilot Studio agent, we will send this prompt, which will automatically convert the New York into a state code and execute this tool. So let's get started. Open the Copilot Studio. Let's create a new agent. And we can type description later. So let's let's create the agent first. Okay. So the agent has been created. Let's edit some detail. You can change icon if you have. I can leave it. Okay, let's save.
Okay, let's add some instructions. That should be enough. Uh, let's save it. Normally, when I create an agent, I don't use general knowledge, so I can disable that. General knowledge is good in some cases, but it's not always good. It can give you some unexpected results, so I usually turn off general knowledge. And we can edit a few instructions. So the inst instructions are completed. So next thing we need to do is we need to add the MCP server which we have created. And for that, you go to Tools, click on Model Context Protocol, click on New Tool, click on Model Context Protocol, Server Name. So that would be. Weather alerts MCP. And in the server URL, we can type this whole URL. Currently, we don't have any security, so we can just select none and click on create. And click on this small icon and click on create new connection create so this will add this tool into our agent okay okay we have added our mcp server in the tools the next step is edit some instructions and tell this agent to use the MCP server in the tools. Copy this name. So 
So we have created an agent. We also created an MCP server tool and we added the instruction that whenever you asked for weather alert, make sure you go to tools, MCP server, and query from there. And if you can't find anything, just simply say this information. So let's save this one. Okay, and let's now try a prompt. Let me refresh this. Okay, so as we send a prompt, we can see that MCP server is triggered and it called the get alerts tool. And the get alert took this parameter as a state code. And then we go this output and it is displayed here. Okay, let's try a different state now. So again, the WY is being used as a state code in the parameter, and then it called the weather alert MCP server we created, and it is triggering the get alerts, and then we get this JSON back, and which is what being displayed here. So this is all looking good. Let's try a different prompt this time. We'll go back to overview. I will refresh this window. But this time I'm not typing, I'm not typing New York. What I'm typing is the complete state name. So now I am expecting this New York should be converted into NY by this agent and that NY would be sent to the MCP server. Well, let's see if that happens. Okay, see this? So the tool is intelligent enough. It has created, converted the New York into that state code and getting the weather alerts. Let's try with a different state now. It's working as expected. So what we did is we created MCP server tools in different, different episodes. Uh, but in this one, we created a, a co-pilot agent and we added the MCP server we have created in the tools. And then we can send few prompts in natural language. We don't have to exactly type the state code. As you can see in here, if you, if you don't type it properly, then you get an error. But in the agent, we can type the prompt in a natural language and then we can get the desired result. Okay, so now it's time to deploy it. But before that, let's publish it first.
okay it has been published and go to channels click on teams add channel If you want to change colors or icons, you can do here, but I think I'm okay with that. on the channel I'm gonna add Now let's try a prompt in natural language and see how it works here. Let's try New York with state core first. Okay, so we have got the weather alerts. It's all good. Uh, let me copy this one and we will just change the state name. We don't need to type the code. We just say New York state. Okay, so we got this alerts back. So it looks like, looks like it's all working. And I think that's it for today. Uh, let me recap what we did so far. So we created an agent. We created an agent. We added instructions, which is most important part for the agent. We told this agent we use this weather alerts MCP, which is defined in the tools to query the MCP server. And then we created the MCP server in last three videos, and then we integrated that into our tools. And then we can simply use natural language to send prompts from here. And then we deploy it into Teams channel, and then we test it there. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any question, put in the comments. I need your favor. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye.